Oh, money, Pablo, the double cross, yep, Castro, Ivo. Castro, Castro. Cubans on me like I'm Castro. Hit your bitch with a backstroke. Spanish bitch, J Lo. J -Lo. Dope money, Pablo. Pablo. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing this jacket I have on. It's nice and pretty and red <laughs> to match the FZ. And I also got a Cena SMH10 so I can finally do some more dual vlogs because this thing is amazingly clear and I love how loud the speakers are because on my old Bluetooth they were super quiet but now I can hear everything so clearly with this thing oh yeah if you're wondering I was just B mode rolling onto the throttle sometimes this bike likes to you know do wheelies and stuff but besides that, uh, I'm kind of doing a field test of this jacket. I got a size small because for some reason jackets fit me way better when they're smaller, so. But yeah, this jacket, it's great, you know? I mean, it's about, let's see, what's the temperature out? It's 64 degrees outside, and I feel natural, I guess. It's kind of like a temperature I'm feeling right now where I'm just comfortable. It's not cold and it's not hot. So that's great. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of cruising around on the FZ, kind of playing around. And I was trying to test out this Cena, and the Cena sounds amazing. I just got on the phone with my dad. I'm really glad the company sent me this. If you're looking for a great Cena headset, go ahead and check out MotorcycleHouse.com. I'll put the link in the description where I got both of these items. I got the jacket. And this jacket is awesome, actually. I'll put the link for both so you can go check them out. But it's a textile jacket, but it fits me great. You know, a lot of textile jackets, sometimes you have issues with how baggy they are. And this one, it's actually a really tight-fitting jacket. And I mean, I, I don't want to say I'm some kind of muscle man or something, but I do work out, and my arms have a good bit of mass to them, but um, I would say that this jacket is like a tightness to where you feel secure, and I feel like this would feel great on a longer ride. Not only because it's kind of a tighter jacket, but because it feels like it's not flimsy and low quality even though I'm pretty sure the price point for it isn't too expensive for most textile jackets in comparison. But I've been told that textile jackets are good for summer and whatnot because they breathe a lot better. So I normally stick to textile. I don't even think I have a leather riding jacket. I just have leather jackets alone. So I figured you guys might want to see some of this kind of stuff on this bike. It's pretty uh, easy to do these things on this bike because it just comes right up, you know? You just use that rear brake. I'm gonna have a great review of this bike soon, I promise. But uh, for now, I'm just kind of cruising around on it, trying to get everything settled. But I do have exhaust coming soon. And I'm gonna have a little build series on it. sooner than later but I really do enjoy this bike it's an awesome bike I do not recommend it for starters I've been riding for a good bit now and I guess it just suits my riding style so we're in let's put it in a mode ah, this thing is pretty quick I prefer B mode because it's a little bit less twitchy, you know? Some of the other selections that you have of modes, it's kind of twitchy. But uh, my plan is to get ECU flash for it, exhaust, and a couple other goodies. I already have the aftermarket rear turn signals on there and this windshield, so. I really like this windshield over all the other windshields that they have for this bike because this is the sportiest looking one and I feel like it makes the bike just come to a point basically and I really like that
One thing about this bike that's interesting is the shifting. I like it and sometimes I don't at the same time because I really like it because it, you know you're in gear but sometimes it just feels really notchy, you know, listen. It's just, I like it because you know what gear you're in, you know. The great thing about this bike is it also has a gear indicator which you don't really need but it's a first for me. I've never had a gear indicator on any of the bikes I've owned so it's really nice to have now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of product review type video. Uh, I'll put the links in the description for both of these products. The Cena, I've, I'm sure you've heard of it before, um, but the SMH10 is supposedly the most basic model that they make, so if you wanted to, you could get the Cena 20S or something like that because I, they're the higher level ones. But I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Take off, judge folks, face off. In the kitchen, have a bake off. She gon' snow the whole damn face off.